Hello and welcome. Uh, we're going to solve this problem together, but you should try it first on your own, because we know you can do it. Okay, so we're solving uh, the equation below for d, and they want us to show all of our work. So I'm going to, I like to start these kind of questions just by rewriting everything I see. We've got 0 0.2 times d minus 6 equals 0 0.3 d plus 5 minus 3 plus 0.1 d. So the first thing I'm going to do is combine like terms, because I think this thing looks scarier than it really is. So for example, I've got plus 5 minus 3, that's just 2, right? 5 minus 3 is 2. I've got 0.3d and 0.1d. If I add those two up, 0.3 plus 0.1, that's just 0.4d plus 2. Now look how much simpler that looks. On the left-hand side, uh, I can't add any terms, but I can use the distributive property. I can multiply 0.2 times d, that's just 0.2d, minus 6 times 0.2. And you might be able to do this in your head. I, I think, well, what is 2 times 6? That's 12, right? So what's 0 0.2 times 6? Well, I know that 0 0.2 is smaller right, than 2. I know it's 10 times smaller than 2. I know that because the decimals move once to the left. So that means our answer is going to be 10 times smaller. It's got to be 1.2, right? The decimal in 12 moves once to the left to get 1.2. And that makes it a product that's 10 times smaller. So I know that 0.2 times 6 is just 1.2. All right, now I'd like to get my d's on the same side, so I'm going to subtract 0.2d, subtract 0.2d, and what do we get? Well, this is 0. Don't forget this is still subtracting 1.2, so it's 0 minus 1.2, so we, we, put, we just put minus 1.2. 0.4d minus 0.2d is 0.2d, right, plus 2. And now I get d by myself, by, by itself, by subtracting 2 on both sides. Negative 1.2 minus 2, that's negative 3.2. And um, that equals, these 2's cancel out, 2 minus 2 is 0. 0.2d, and you can use a calculator here, but I like to think that when we divide both sides by 0.2, so first of all, I know negative 3.2 divided by 0.2, I know it's going to be a negative quotient, so I put that there first, so I don't lose track of it. These 0.2's cancel out, um, and I like to think of 32 divided by 2 first, and that's 16. Then I know if I have 3.2 instead of 32, and 0.2 instead of 2, I know I've essentially taken the same ratio, right, um, and rewritten a different way, because 32 divided by 10 and 2 divided by 10 gives us these new numbers, and that gives us the same ratio. It's just kind of like if I scaled up, if I multiply by 10 to 320, over 20, this would still be 16, right? Now multiplying by 10 on both in both cases, or dividing by 10 in both cases, creates the same ratio. So I know that d has to be negative 16. Oh, that's a 16, sorry. All right, I hope this helped.